Hello, what's up? It's photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try and this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily even out and match skin tones using the solid color adjustment layer in Photoshop. So in the previous videos, I'll showing you how you can easily even out skin tones and match skin tones using the gradient maps. And most of you maybe found it to be a kind of lengthy kind of process to unify skin tones. And with this, we're just going to be using the solid color adjustment layer. And you can see before the image had an event skin tones, the hand and the rest of the body were not matching with the face. So usually this tends to happen when the makeup applied on the face is not corresponding with the rest of the body. And that makes the face different from the rest of the body. So you can see after applying the solid color adjustment layer, we now have nice and uniform skin tones. So I'll just come right here to this layer and simply delete this. And if at all you haven't hit the like button on this video, simply like this video because when you like the video, it also helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So just come and hit the like button. So just come to the adjustments right here <clears throat> and simply come and select solid color. So come and select solid color. So when you select solid color, it is going to apply any color so don't mind if at all your color is looking different from mine in this case so with this color applied into the image or over the image just come and hit ok so after selecting ok the next thing is going to be basically coming and turning off the visibility of the color fill or the solid color layer that we created over the image so just come and hide it or deactivate it so after deactivating it we just want to copy colors from the skin or the mid-tones of this very model. So just come and double click once and it's going to open up the color picker tool. Make sure the sample is set 5x5 five five average and sample is set to all layers and make sure so sa show sampling ring is also checked and selected. So if at all the color picker tool is not showing this eyedropper icon. Make sure that you press the caps lock key on the keyboard. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be zooming into the, the area that you want the rest of the skin to look like. And after zooming in, sample from what you feel is the mid-tones or what you feel are the mid-tones of the image. So just sample. So I'll just sample from that area. Because I feel like that is the mid-tone. So don't sample the brightest point. Don't sample the darkest point. But just come and sample. To sample, simply left click over a given color. That is the mid-tones in this case. And after doing that, just come and simply click on OK. But you can see still the skin is not uniform. You can see there is no effect affecting the image but when you come and turn on this layer it is going to apply the the mid-tone layer over the overall image so we are going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal first of all and change it to color so when you come and change it to color the next thing is going to be coming and selecting this white layer mask in this case and after selecting the white layer mask you can now come and press Control I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect from affecting the overall image. So just come, select the white layer mask this time around and press Control I. If at all you are using Windows or PC, then if at all you are using Mac, simply press co Command I on the keyboard. And when you press Command I, it is going to hide the effect behind this black mask. Remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide when it comes to layer masks so the effect has been hidden behind a black layer mask so in order to reveal it we just want to paint onto the skin using a white brush so in order to paint on the skin we are going to come under the brushes and right click and get the normal brush tool so after getting the normal brush tool so select the normal brush tool then come and make sure the hardness is set to 0% and make sure the brush is set to soft round brush and the mode is set to normal with the opacity and the floor at 
So just come and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. Then to reset the color swatches, if I told you had any other random color. So if I told you have any other random color apart from black and white, you can simply reset by left clicking on these tiny squares right there to reset the color to black and white. Or you can press D on the keyboard and D is going to set these colors back to the default which is black and white so with white as the foreground color or the front color right here and black as the background color we are now going to meaning the brush is set to a white brush so this brush is going to start painting the colors back and revealing them so like i said a white brush is going to be painting on a black mask revealing the color grading effect so i'm just going to come and paint just like that so i don't mind if at all it is looking over saturated so i'll just come and paint so you can increase on the size of the brush and if at all the brush is showing a plus icon press the caps lock key on the keyboard and just come and paint just like that and by the way take your time as you're doing this step or as you're painting on the skin because you don't want to paint areas you did not want to paint in the first place i'll reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and continue painting so paint on every area that has skin so i'll paint on the hand just like that paint just like that and you can see it is now creating this kind of warm tones onto the hand of our subject. So if at all you want the image to be as perfect as possible, you can even come and also paint on uh, the face just like that. So that every tone can be nice and uniform. So just come and paint just like that on the image, paint on the skin. So like I said, take your time. And don't paint the lips or even the eyes. Don't do that. And if at all you have painted an area that you did not want to be affected in the very first place, I'll be showing sure you can easily perfect or correct that kind of mistake. So right now we are done painting. Or rather we are almost done. But to see more accurately where you wanted to paint or the areas that you may have missed out painting, as you're using this kind of technique just come to the blend mode and for a brief time just simply come and turn it to soft light and that is going to show you or indicate for you the areas that you haven't painted on and just paint just like that and i think we have painted each and every area nicely and perfect so if i told you i've made the mistake switch the brush back to black and you can erase the effect from a given area so we have now painted each and every area so after so this is more of a check layer to show you where you have painted and where you, you have not painted on the image regarding uh, this kind of step or procedure so i've painted on most or majority of the areas so just come back and change the blend mode back to color and you can see that the effect comes back so when you feel like the effect is too much for your liking, you can always come to the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity of uh, the effect to your liking until when you feel like it is nice and looking better for you. So around 65. So this is the image before, after, before, after, before and after. So this is how you can easily even out and match skin tones using the solid color adjustment line in Photoshop. And if at all you have loved this video, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you need more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.